Hi, I'm Jody. I recently made a video of the pros and cons of Kevlar canoes for canoe camping and today I'm going to make a similar video but about Royal X canoes. First of all, Royal X canoes are awesome canoes. It's made of a specific material that was manufactured up until a few years ago. The production of Royal X material has been stopped. There's no more of it because of the low volume that was being manufactured. So now there's a new material that's kind of similar and called T Formex. But I'm still going to talk specifically about Royal X in this video because there are tons of Royal X canoes out there. You might be able to buy one used. They were a very popular type of canoe in the world of canoe camping and I'm going to get into that. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons, but I just wanted to start with the fact that this is more so for people who are looking to buy used canoes. I'm going to start with the pros of Royal X canoes and then I'm going to go into the cons. The pros, the big the biggest pro of a Royal X canoe is durability. This is why this video is still going to be relevant for a while because these canoes are durable as heck. <laughs> I have heard stories of people taking their Royal X canoes on rapids and like jamming into rocks super hard. The material doesn't break. I think this was the canoe company that like would throw their canoes off of roofs and stuff and it would bounce, it wouldn't snap. So they're durable but they've got some flex to them. When you hit something really hard with a Royal X canoe, it's likely not to snap, it's gonna like bounce. They're durable and they're flexible which kind of go together. When a Royal X canoe is beat up in some way or has some kind of jarring action to it, it will move back to form. Some canoes, if you hit something really hard, it's gonna dent it and then you've got like this dented canoe, you kind of got to figure out what to do with it. Royal X is most likely gonna bounce back to form. So with all that being said, <laughs> these are all kind of related but Royal X is strong, it's flexible, it's durable, it's gonna last, it's easy to repair. Overall, the biggest pro of a Royal X canoe is it is super durable, it's also easy to repair. The cons of a Royal X canoe are that it's heavier. It's not the heaviest type of canoe, but they are a little bit heavier. Compared to the Kevlar canoes, this is going to be a different kind of situation. The same canoe size that's Kevlar might be 35 pounds and Royal X might be 70. It's still doable. I have carried a Royal X canoe across lots of portages. It just, it's heavy. The heaviness also makes it slower in the water. So when you're paddling, it's just going to take a little bit more energy to move the canoe because there's more weight to it. On the flip side, because it's heavier, that is a con. In in a lot of instances because you want a light canoe to do all of the cleaning and moving and care for the canoe as well as portaging it but a heavier canoe when you pull the canoe out of the water and bring it up at your campsite if there's wind it's less likely to go flying and get broken busted up because it's just a little bit heavier overall I would say the heaviness is a con the give and take with Royal X is it's gonna last you a long time and be easy to repair but it's heavier often Sometimes with canoes there's a give and take between weight and durability. A Royal X canoe is a great canoe for canoe camping, but with the weight you're going to want to make sure that it's easy to carry in other ways, so you're going to want a good yoke that's going to be comfortable. You're going to want padding on the yoke. I can't imagine carrying a Royal X with just the wood yoke on your shoulders. It would be very, very uncomfortable. I know 70 pounds doesn't sound like, oh my gosh, I couldn't do that. Like, most people could lift 70 pounds once it's up and over your head, but it is a lot of pressure on your shoulders. So something to keep in mind, but definitely doable, usable, and you can oftentimes get good deals on Royal X canoes on Marketplace and at used canoe places. I hope this was helpful. If you want to learn more about canoe camping or watch my adventures, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Give this video a like and a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And you can comment your other pros and cons or experiences with Royal X canoes in the comments below so we can all kind of learn from each other.